Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, March 7, 2024. May God continue to show you favor and may His peace continue to be on you and your families. Now, our reading today, it comes to us from Daniel chapter 5, reading verses 1 to 6. And it says, Belshazzar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousand. Belshazzar, while he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the golden and silver vessels which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple which was in Jerusalem, that the king and his princes, his wives and his concubines might drink therein. Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God which was at Jerusalem, and the king and his princes, his wives and his concubines drank in them. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and silver, of brass, of iron, of wood, and of stone. In the same hour came forth the fingers of a man's hand, and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace, and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Then the king's countenance was changed, and his thoughts troubled him, so that the joints of his loins were loose, and his knees smote against another. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word. And this is a very serious reading this morning. I won't be able to read all the verses this morning, but I will post it in the, the video transcript so that you can read it or in the comments and you, you can read it for yourself to get the full understanding of it. Now, I don't know how many of us are familiar with the story in Daniel 5 about Belshazzar, Nebuchadnezzar's son. Now, one day, the king, King Belshazzar, was having a feast, as we read earlier, having a feast for a thousand of his lords, or those who are in his royal court. And they were there having wine and drinking and doing all kind of and doing all kind of crazy things, things that God would not approve of. No, something strange here. He made a request to his servants, or he commanded that they should bring the vessels that was taken out of the temple in Jerusalem that his father had conquered. Right? Remember when King Nebuchadnezzar went in Jerusalem and he, he, he took them captive. He raided the temple and he took out everything, the vessels and everything that was in the temple. He took them, the gold and the silver and so on. And he took them down to Babylon. Here is the sun having a feast and this is not a church service mind you and he, they were there drinking all of these booze all of these alcohol doing all kind of abominable things and blasphemous things and then he's gonna send an ox for the vessels from the temple God's dwelling place the holy vessel that has been consecrated to use for God's purpose. He's going to ask that they be brought to him so that they can drink wine and use them for whatever party they are having. Now, it seems that his memory was failing him because he had his father's mistakes to learn from. How many times did Nebuchadnezzar, his father, go against God are made a bad move against God and God had to cut him down. 
it seems like he didn't learn from those mistakes anyway so they brought the vessels and they drank wine out of it and they do all kind of things and then their blasphemous actions eventually invoke God's reaction and so God stepped in so while they were there having their their, their little get together the, the ant come writing on the wall and the ant wrote something on the wall but the king could not understand what the ant was writing in fact when he saw the ant writing this brother catch his afraid he got so frightened so scared fear took him over at the point where his joints were loose his bowels were loose so the man start to wet himself one writer say or he start to mess up himself because of what he saw now he's met with somebody more powerful than him because obviously he did not acknowledge the power of god or israel's god and so he felt like it was in his right to do what he wants to do because he is king but on top of that he thought that it was okay for him to go and take god vessels his consecrated vessels and use them in his foolishness and this is something that we must keep in mind the things that are consecrated to use for god's purpose must never be used to do anything else apart from what it was consecrated to use for because mind you if we use them for anything that they are supposed to use for then we will bear consequences for that just like belshazzar and when you read the chapter you will get more backdrop of what happened because of what he did that same night he died so you see how serious a matter this is we must understand that god must not be trifled with god we can't god is not our plaything and so we can't do as we like when we like because we think that we have the freedom to do so and that's not what freedom is so not because you are free to do something mean that you must do it because mind you when you do it consequences will follow if need be and we must remember that god has rules and he expects us to follow them the things that are in the church so the mics the pa system the communion vessels are anything that is used for the service within the church we can't take them and go and say we are go use them at our casual functions that's not what they were ordained to do and i know in your mind you probably saying but it's harmless it's not like we're going to a rave or you know are carrying them to use at a dance or you know it's just a harmless birthday party no they were not consecrated to be used for that purpose so find another means or another way do you understand we cannot slight these things because what when we do god will hold us accountable and so we must be careful how we handle god consecrated vessels and the things that are used for the services of the church we should handle them with care so when god told him that because of what he did he's going to die that night god was furious with him furious and trust me you don't want god to be furious with you and so 
remember that God expects us to be respectful to him. He expects us to treat the holy things pertaining to him with respect and he expects us to follow the guidelines and principles that he has given to us because anything less than that is only going to be trouble for us and so may God continue to give us wisdom friends may God continue to help us to make intelligent choices and to conduct ourselves in an appropriate manner when we go before God so that these things that Belshazzar and his princes and his wives and whoever did don't befall us in any way shape or form okay so my prayers are with you continue to pray for me as well because I need your prayers too I need the prayers of those I love because I want to see Jesus face and I don't want him to be angry at me even to the point where I will lose my soul okay so may God continue to bless you and God continue to keep you as we continue to serve him amen <music>